Hello and welcome to another update video about Dogecoin. Dogecoin uh, did come back a little bit more here. Um, we talked about critical support levels in the last video. We haven't quite reached the critical support level that would lead to a break of this wave four. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that in this video. Before we start, just to explain again also for new viewers, the two scenarios here, the two main scenarios I'm watching. The first scenario, which is currently still the primary view, is and that's purely because of this strange structure that we've developed down here. Yeah, from a price structure point of view, this does not suggest a high reliable, highly reliable bottom for um for Doge, but it could have bottomed already. Yeah, but it's not my primary. So this in this view, we came down off the high. So this this low here in June was a wave three. We moved up in a wave four and we're now still coming down in a wave five. Of course, that doesn't work without, you know, short term rallies to the upside. Um, also in a bear market, you get these. And the view is that we have completed a wave one, we have completed a wave two, and we're now coming down in a third, there will be a fourth and a fifth. Even this structure, you know, this structure, even if we push higher here, and, and should we even push above the um, 11.2 cent level, even that wouldn't necessarily make it bullish. It would probably raise the probabilities. And always remember, everything is probabilistic. Yeah, It would raise the probabilities, but it would just lead to a stronger wave too, first of all. That would be my first call. Main reason for that is because this wave two here was not very strong. It wasn't very strong. It only reached the 38.2 retracement. The 38.2 retracement is a level that in an ABC correction, so let's assume A, B, C, and this here was only the A. The 38.2% FIP level in a zigzag correction or a flat, oftentimes the A wave reaches the 38.2 and then the wave C of two reaches a higher retracement level. So this will certainly be a possibility. So be prepared for that that even if we go higher, which is certainly a possibility, Chainlink is doing that at the moment, for example, and Doge could do that as well. Yeah, there is certainly more short-term upside potential. Also, don't think that the Bitcoin Ethereum rallies are over. So this can still push higher, but it does not change the overall structure, at least not yet. So the idea would be to still push down lower, and um, we're gonna talk about the critical support levels um, in a minute, and yeah, to come down further. Yeah, and if we zoom in now, and afterwards we talk about the alternative wave pattern, which is a direct breakout. If we now zoom out further, I'm currently still looking at this to be a C, an A, B, C structure within wave three. But again, if we push much higher, I will have to reset the wave two to over here, which would not be really a change in structure. It would just allow for a stronger wave two. Um, remember that already back here, um, we talked about a stronger wave too, because it was only very shallow at the time. Then we dropped a little bit too low and it made it likely that we were already in the third wave and therefore I'm following this pattern at the moment. So currently following the idea that we could be in a B wave of three, anybody who asks why is the wave three a three wave structure just has to do with the situation that if we see this as an ending diagonal pattern, all the subwaves are ABC structures, also a wave three. So we're currently, however, pushing higher and even in this structure, I would expect higher because we can currently count a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and we can focus on higher as long as we have the 50% retracement in place that is at 8.1 cents. Yeah, I mean, even a short drop below it would not be necessarily an issue, but ideally we are holding here this trend line. And then we can still put this fifth wave in, then we would have if we drop below 8.1 cents, we probably have an ending diagonal in the wave C of B and then can still push higher to push um, that B wave a little higher. And if we then talk about key resistance levels, we are talking here about the next one is 9.6 cents. That's a 61.8 retracement and then 10.3 cents, which is the 78.6 retracement. These are certainly likely levels to get to if we get that fifth wave. Um, and also to get to get rejected from, yeah. Obviously, if we push above 10.3, I would need to reset the wave too, because above that, this B wave will just get unrealistic. And then I would still expect the move down here in a C wave of three, then a four and a five. That would be the ideal um, pattern that the structure currently suggests. 
Of course, I don't have a crystal ball, don't know the future. Therefore, we have an alternative wave structure as well here on the chart, which would enable for a direct breakout. It is an unusual pattern to break out from, but it's not impossible, which would mean that, however, we need to move much higher um, to confirm that. Yeah, And I I'm going to tell you what do I need to see to um, yeah, change my expectation to primary direct up. Um, this pattern is a so-called 1-2-1-2 setup and we could now be in the third wave and break out from here. But I just don't find it very likely, but it's possible. What do we need to see? So, hmm, mm, let me think. Let me just think. I mean, what, what I need to see is a bare minimum. I mean, even if we eventually my first if, if we push higher if we push above this high at 11.2 uh, again i will reset the wave 2 probably already a bit earlier if i reset the wave 2 we have here an a wave a b wave and the c wave not much different to what we have here um in in yeah and we could now be moving up here in this in this c wave um what i need certainly as a bare minimum is that I get these five waves up com complete and we are, we're not even there yet and then I need to see three waves down so I need another leg up and then ABC hold a higher low hold a critical support ideally above the 78.6 percent retracement and then we can talk yeah then we can talk if we hold support and we see this is starting to move up yeah maybe a small one two setup already then I will change my primary view to direct breakout um, and then we can see stuff like this happen, right? So that's sort of how I would see this. And that's also the moment when I will change my primary expectation. At the moment, it's just still too unreliable. And the expectation has to be for another low. Bear in mind, nobody knows the future, but this is sort of what the chart needs to do to um, basically change for me the daily chart trend and to change for me the view that um, we have a really good chance here to move to the upside. Okay, and that's my update about Doge. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.